This is me, Eugene, single, 26, biologist. I'm very average looking and passionate for comics and stamps. Eugene doesn't exist. That handsome man right there is the real me. I'm Derek, also 26, athletic, and obviously better looking than you. Now you're probably wondering why I pose online as Eugene instead of myself. Well, let me explain. It all started about a month ago with my ex-girlfriend, Jenny. Hey, hey. you. Oh, you brought me a present? Yeah. Hey. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks, babe. It's so big. It's that the necklace I saw last week, but... Seriously, Derek? Do you like it? I made a special print just for you. It's a picture of yourself. Yeah, way better than that necklace, right? God, sometimes I just wonder. Seriously, though, who wouldn't like that gift? Anyway, what she's about to say did make me think. Everything seems to be about you. And I honestly don't think that anyone's going to be able to ever love you for who you are, Derek. I'm sorry, but I I'm done. And. You know where the door is? And, Jesus, you can take the present. I don't need it. That's when I realized she might be right. Nobody could ever love me for myself since everyone must be blinded by my good looks. This is where Eugene comes in. I wanted to find a girl who would see past my beautiful features. Internet dating was the perfect solution to hide my true identity and meet someone interested in who I am instead of how I look. So after finding some random local nerd I knew from high school to use as my online profile, I was set and ready to give it a try. At first, I only had a lot of very, very creepy women. Wow, you know, you're even hotter in real life. Oh, hold on, I have to take this, it's my husband. Hi, honey. Yeah, yeah, I'm with him right now. Yeah, I think he may be down for a threesome. I had such a nice time on our date. I cannot wait to introduce you to my 13 cats. Oh, my favorite, my favorites, Mr. Snuggles oh, and Snowball and Mr. Periwinkle. So this went really well and I just, I wanna be straightforward about it. Um, do you wanna have sex in my car or the bathroom? Let's go to the car. Great, uh, just one more thing. Yeah. How do you feel about wearing this? Right into the mood and hey, wait, where are you going? I didn't have much luck and was almost about to give up until. Whoa! This was my very first message from someone who didn't look like a psychopath. Her name was Helena, and I was officially back in the game. Helena and I talked a lot for the next few days. We really hit it off. I started to like her could see things going somewhere, so we decided to finally meet at this coffee place. Today was the day. I had to be even more perfect than I already am. I could not screw this one up. It was maybe my one chance at a true relationship. I was nervous and excited at the same time. I had no idea how she would react seeing I had lied about my true identity. She couldn't be mad. I mean, look at me. I'm so handsome. No way she could resist this pretty face. Damn, it's almost 410. She should be here.
Helena? Yes. <laughs> but... You don't look anything like your pictures, Eugene. <laughs> yeah, neither do you. Why would you pose as someone else? Well, I just wanted to find someone who likes me for me. What about you? Same reason. I, I figure if I look prettier online, then guys will want to get to know me better. <laughs> I understand. Well, if you and I want people to like us for who we are, then why don't we get to know each other better? I had my back against the wall. Should I stay, get to know her, and maybe find in her a real connection, or leave? I'm sorry. It's not you, it's me. Dick? When I told her it was me and not her, I truly meant it. I cannot see myself with someone that much uglier than me. I'm too good looking for her. My quest of true love was pointless. Society values appearance more than anything, and who am I to go against that, especially since I'm a 10? She will find someone more suitable for her one day. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, uh, I'm pretty, I'm Hi, I'm sorry to bother you, but I, I, I heard what that guy said. And what an a-hole. Could I, could I get you anything to drink? Another coffee or something? Yeah, sure. That'd be nice. I'm pretty. Je dédicace le morceau beau gosse que je suis. J'ai trop de sexe à vie quand je me regarde parfois je jouis.